Hello everyone! So for today's video, we are going to make an honest review of this Samsung Top Loader washing machine with the model code WA12T5360BV. So we bought this few months ago and we've been using it since then. So today we want to share to you our experience in using this washing machine. This washing machine features digital inverter technology and wobble technology so that means power saver din ito and just like any other appliances na inverter din and also the wobble technology feature uh, it's uh, a whole new type of spin that protects delicate fabric so which makikita nyo later part so yung spin niya is quite different compared to a typical washing machine so inside the drum so this is the drum so inside the drum you can see uh, there is mga, there are mga tiny holes so in, these tiny holes are involved in diamond shape so that it prevents your clothes from snagging or pag up for snagging or para hindi na rin na magkapunit-punit. So, this part is yung tinatawag na uh, magic filter. So, dito pinifilter yung mga lens o other foreign substance na dumidikit sa damit. So, pinifilter niya at dito dumidikit. So, ma-minimize dito yung mga lens na didikit sa mga damit, especially those damit na dark colored. So, dito, dito yung kakapit. So that means this one has to be cleaned every now and then. So you have just you just have to be careful when removing this and putting it back. Because if you don't lock it properly, there's a there's a chance na uh, matatanggal to at saka sa sama sa sa ikot ng labahan. So tumutunog yung drum. So make sure when you put it back, uh, it has to be locked properly. This part, dito nilalagay yung detergent. No, so, dito yung dispenser ng detergent. And the other side is para sa softener, sa softener or yung fabric softener. So, dito siya nilalagay yung sabon. Tsaka may ito to. And then, for the fab one, uh, so you, go, you put it this part. So, parang drawer lang. Yan. Okay, so, I'm showing to you the different cycles that is being featured in this washing machine. So, this one has three, three kind of cycles. So, just have to choose which one you like. So, if naglalaba kayo ng masyadong maduming damit or ng beddings or ng rugs so you can choose super clean so in my case I usually choose the normal one kasi uh, hindi naman masyadong maduming damit namin so normal lang yung siniselect ko palagi and also you have there ah okay may feature pala para sa bedding and towels baby care and for your delicate clothes and then meron din quick wash and sa jeans and also, if you just want your clothes to be rinsed na rin and then spin agad, so you can choose this feature. And then, meron din eco tab for you. So, so this, these are the indicators, the water level indicator, the wash time, or rinse times. So, ilang beses mo siya gusto ba one. So, you can just adjust here using this button. And also, when drying, this is the spin time. Pwede mo rin dyan i-adjust kung ilang minutes mo siya gusto ipaspin. So, other features here. My delay end and also intensive wash. Usually, intensive wash talaga ang, ang nagagamit. And then, that deep softener and also this one, the air turbo. So, uh, Parang mini-minimize niya yung, um, time sa uh, yung time sa drying at the same time 
uh, pinapalakas yung spin. So, so, later we will try this out. Maglalaba ako. Kasi maglalaba. Para makita nyo. So, how, how this washing machine really works. Okay, so... Yan, nakaload na ako ng lamit. So, nalalaban ko yung... Uh, lalaban ko yung mga uniforms. Mm. So, lagay mo lang natin sa the drum. So, ilang sets din ito. At saka, yung maliliit na damit ng aling pinso. So, ito yung lalagyan ng detergent soap. So, hindi na ako naglagay ng softener kasi may daw na kasama ng sabon. Okay. So, let's just close. Okay. So, here, ito yung likod. So, this is the for the water source. So, kinakabit lang dyan yung hose. Tsaka na ito. Uh, tsaka yung ikot-ikot and then make sure it's it's locked properly kasi tumatagas yung tubig pag hindi here at the bottom part nandito yung um, drain niya so this tube drain tube is detachable din so kinakabit lang siya dyan so make sure may dipit din yung pagkakakabit okay so it's already plugged so we just have to power it on ayan so so you can choose now which which cycle you want. So in my case, since uniform lang din naman, so I can I will just use the normal cycle. So nakaselect na siya dyan. And, and then you will press the start kasi uh, yung washing machine i de detect niya yung weight na ng damit para ma adjust niya yung water level, wash time, etc. It's time. But, pwede naman din, uh, if you want to adjust the water level, pwede din naman at saka yung wash time, rinse time, and spin time. So, we will just press start. Okay, so... detect na niya yung weight ng damit. So, water level will be 9. Saka, wash time will be 24. Saka, pag normal, usually reach time is once lang. But, you can still adjust that. Depende na din. Kasi, pag re-reach ng ilang beses, uh, medyo madaming tubig na kailangan. So, anyway, hindi naman masyadong madumi yung lamit. Tsaka, uniform lang din ng mga bata. So, normal lang yung cycle na uh, pidili ko. So, nilo-load na yung water. By the way, when washing, make sure na yung water source, source nyo is enough. Kasi, pag masyadong mahina yung water, madilitik ng washing machine. Tsaka, mag i siya mag error siya. Sometimes, there are times nga na uh, yung water medyo malakas at the first uh, first few minutes and then later part, hihina. So, mag error siya. Ang mangyayari is yung water na naipon na niya is i-drain niya. So, once mangyari yan, babalik ka ulit sa paglo-load ng water. So, make sure na malakas yung water source. Okay, so, guys, biglang humina yung water source natin. So, ito na nga yung nangyayari. nag error yung um, washing machine natin. So, magsisignal siya ng parang ganito. That's the code for the error. Meaning, nahina yung water source mo. At saka, magduto na yun. Okay, so, finally, nag-spin na din. So, Actually, hindi pa na-re-reach yung maximum 
water level na na naset sa washing machine. Meron nagsta start start na siya nang magspin. So that's the good thing about this washing machine is um, dahan dahan yung spin niya. So you can see hindi masyadong harsh at saka yung yung spin niya is iba sa karaniwang washing machine kasi yung feature na feature niya na wobble technology is uh, very uh, fine yung spin and delicate not, not so harsh na magpupunit-punit yung damit okay so ayan medyo madami na yung tubig and if you can see uh, on the side uh, parang may uh, lumalabas na tubig dyan na part so that also helps the the sabon na maka circulate properly also the water parang parang hinugasan niya yung damit so i think that which is that is a good feature naman sa paglalaba ng washing machine natin So, I think na reach na yung maximum level ng water capacity. Nag-stop na yung water source natin. And I think the washing time is also almost done. So, few minutes later, i-drain na niya yung tubig. So, as you can see, dito sa indicator, nag-blink na po yung um, second process. So, which means, the washing machine is getting ready to rinse. So, they drain na yung water. And then after that, spin ulit and then load again ang water to rinse the clothes. So, ayan na po, nag-spin. Uh, not fully drain up with water so it is starting to spin again to dry the clothes and then we we'll load water again for rinsing so ayan loading water again to rinse so wait again for a few minutes So, ayan po, rinsing na. Ganoon pa din naman po yung ikot niya. So, 19 minutes more. Okay, so it's drying time na. So after 10 minutes, then it will be done. Okay po, so ayan na po, patapos na. Ayan po. So, actually, hindi po siya totally dry, pero konting hangin na lang po yung gulang at pwede na. So, pwede mo na ito i-hanger.
Also, pag may brown out, uh, yung process po na nangyayari sa washing machine is nasa save po na. So, when the power comes back, uh, mag-re-rest yung dun siya ulit. Hindi siya yung mag-re-restart ulit from the very beginning like loading water. So, kung ano yung last the process na ginagawa niya. Once bumalik niyo yung kuryente is mm, iko-continue lang niya. So, mag-re-resume siya. 